Ashley, you just volunteered. <laughs> if you haven't already, who's most likely to pass gas in front of the other first? <laughs> <laughs> Longer shower. No Who spends the most time getting ready to go out? <laughs> I think they practiced. No. <laughs> Who is more into their looks? <laughs> Who's the bigger flirt? What? He was pretty confident about that one. <laughs> Who's the jokester? We know that. He's serious. Oh, yeah, both serious and the jokester. They ask us. That's a dangerous combination. Who's the more outgoing? <laughs> and who made the first move? channel basically our youtube channel is basically about our untold love story basically we talk about like our marriage how we met and basically what love means to us and stuff like that we do challenges and trends and all that so that's basically our niche of our youtube channel and if you're new to our channel make sure to like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching all of our videos and on this video today is all about wedding season. I am so happy because two years ago, my husband and I got married. I'll show you. It was in May of 2018. I'm going our way. That was our picture of us walking out. And it was the happiest day of my life. So you're engaged. Yay, congratulations. That's what everyone tells you. You're happy. But then you think, oh no. Time for the wedding planning. You stress out. That was me. Yeah, I didn't know where to start. But no worries. I got you covered. You have no stress, you'll have no drama, and I got you covered. So here is where you start. Always, always start within like the 12 months, like within the year, to prepare a guest list. From your side or his side, make sure you always prepare the guest list. Make sure if you want friends, family, anybody, have a budget. Me and my husband really didn't have a budget, we just kind of went with the flow and my dad paid for it. It's always, that's like custom for like the, 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 the woman's side, the bride's side to pay for it. If not, that's not for your family. Hey, why not? Have an inspiration board. <clears throat> I didn't really have one. I had like what colors I wanted and stuff like that. So yeah, for the color, I colors we picked out our colors right away i wanted lilac because that's my favorite color and that was his mom's favorite color who sadly passed away um three years prior and my grandma passed away six years prior i thought the year is wrong but she loved lilac and he liked red but we didn't want a bright red so we wanted maroon so we had to compromise on the colors and a venue, pick out a venue. Our venue was very simple. We picked out the same venue my parents picked out. And always, always try to find a church because those church can book up. And we got the same church as my parents. I was like, huh, kind of deja vu a little bit. So within the 10 months, pick an officiant. 
So we picked ours. He was so sweet. He was so kind. And he kind of like, before we got married, he talked about like, okay, why well, you want to get married here? He talked about all this stuff. He actually kind of gave us a little bit of therapy and stuff like that. Like, make sure you guys sure you want to get married. So I thought that was very, very helpful for us. Pick out your wedding party. I had three people on my side. He had three people on his side. And these are actually some of the uh, hoodies, as you can see in my name. And on the back, I'm gonna try to lift it up. It's not gonna really work, but on the back, nope, it's not gonna work. Hey, technical difficulties. On the back, it said my name was future Mrs. So-and-so. And on the rest with my girls, I had their names and I had maid of honor, bridesmaids. And then with my mom, I had her name and mother of the bride. So that's basically telling them, hey, do you wanna be in my wedding party? That was like, kind of like a little gift. Also, you pick out your engagement party where you want it to be and the vendors. Like book the church first. I cannot tell you how many people I know who do not book the church first. They book up so fast. We almost did not book it first. But then we had to, we had to pick between three different dates. So that's how we picked up with May 19th. Pick a florist if you want to. We did not pick a florist. Here is a good tip for you guys, for you girls especially. We did not want to go with a florist because of how expensive we were. We were kind of on a budget at that time with how much we knew everything was going to be. So here's a tip for you ladies. Go on Pinterest, go on Google, even go on Facebook. There are wedding people that they, uh, wedding people, wedding <laughs> brides that like sell stuff that they don't want to use at their own wedding. That's how I got these, I got these beautiful bouquets. They're, they were fake flowers, but I didn't care. I walked down the aisle with them and they were actually lilac, the colors I had. And she sold them to me for like 20 bucks, probably five. So I'm like, I'll take it. And the DJ. We have a good DJ. His name is Patrick Mahomey. I'm gonna put on all these links so I can help all, all you girls out there. He was the best DJ. We had the best reviews out there for this DJ. If you gave him a song to request, he would play it for you. We met maybe two or three times at his house. He would say, okay, what make a must playlist? We had songs to play for, like for the when you walk out, for the for our all the girls and the mom and like for our parents and then for us and then he actually for me since I'm an epileptic I know there's always there's always a downside and everything <laughs> he wanted to make sure like with the lighting which lighting was good for me so he showed us like three different ones and he showed me is this good for you he goes okay I'll be at this venue at this time and make sure let me know if you have any changes you want to do and he also recommended many games to play, like the shoe game, which you'll see in our intro. The shoe game is very popular. There's a dollar dance. He also recommended, like, do a little dance for the father-daughter dance, like a little choreography. And we wanted to do, obviously, we couldn't do a father, um, a son-mother dance because he, and he even suggested doing, like, his aunt dance with him, but it would be too hard on him. There was at the end of the night, we wanted to do two dances, two songs, and they meshed them together. So he was a really good DJ, and I recommend him to everybody. And also within the 10 months, start early to get quotes, just so you can know for your budget. I went down to the eighth months. Order your dress, ladies. Mine took maybe three dresses. I did not like white because obviously I'm really, really white skinned. I'm really pale. So I picked out an ivory dress. You'll see that also probably in the pictures or I'll put it down below. I had sequins. I had an I had a sequin belt and I, with my head and with my veil, I had it, um, I think that was sparkly too. I had a lot of sparklies and a lot of spark and a sparkle shoes. Then I got blisters on my heels. I'm, 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 yeah. So it was a little painful but beauty is pain. Also, book hotel rooms for people that are coming out of town. We had a lot of people coming out of town. Pennsylvania, New York, um, I'm trying to think, sorry. 
New Jersey, we had, I think also Texas, and um, I can't think of that to say right now, Virginia and, and other states. But they did not want to, some stayed in hotels, others did not. But it's also good to get like a range of where people want to stay. Down to the six month. Make a wedding website. We did, I don't remember where it was, but I know Zola is really popular. Um, I don't remember the name. We did uh, do a wedding website, which is was cute. You make this little, little paragraph of how you guys met. And then this, all the information is basically a source. Basically, all the information for your your party. Like, I can't think of, oh my lord. I'm brain fart. Um, for a <laughs> Before you get married, like you get wedding gifts and all that stuff. That was fun. Um, but I think we had wedding registries. The wedding registries we had fun. We had like Target, Kohl's, Bed Bath & Beyond, which was the biggest one. I loved that one. I don't think we did. We did have Kohl's, but he changed at the last minute. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Please your husband. <laughs> also, send, save the dates. We did not do those because we didn't. We didn't like them as much, but that's us. But I like people that do save it, save the day, so people actually remember. But we didn't do that. Um, I like when people send like magnets, so you can actually remember and put them on the refrigerator. And be like, oh yeah, this is when they get married. Hello, so you remember, remember, because or people just put them in their calendar, which is fine as well. Book the honeymoon as well, because obviously, if you're going like to Hawaii, Maui. East Africa, I don't know how that came in my head, Tahiti, anywhere. But we didn't need to book a honeymoon. We actually, ours was paid for. I don't know why I got so emotional a little bit. Ours was free. It was a, a wedding gift from somebody. So we got very, very, very lucky. Let's just say that we were very lucky. Also, start ordering your bridesmaids dresses. Like, what color do you want your dresses? They're A-line, they're seam, they're princess get type. There is a lot of different style of dresses. And um, do you want them short? Do you want them long? Do you want to wear heels? Do you want to wear tennis shoes? Do you want to be comfortable? That's a lot of stuff you have to think about as well. I, um, with my girls, we each had a different color purple. So we had lilac. We have one was a dark purple, one was a maroon color, and one was like a darkish, darkish, darkish purple, but it looked like a grayish, so it all looked really pretty together. And we all decided on silver sh shoes. Some had flip-flops on, which I didn't mind, because you want to be comfortable. You're walking around all day long. So that's another thing you have to talk with with your girls. And start wedding band shopping with your man. Um, I had my old wedding band for, I'm trying to think. Uh, like six or seven, like, no, for a year. And then he finally came around, and then I got that band. So, and he's finally getting, he's getting a new one as well, but there's so many good places. We got this one, that this wedding band, right before that place is done. There's K Jewelers, there's, there's so many places. You can go online for any of them cheaper. If you don't like them cheaper, there's a lot of other places, like I said. Fourth month. This is was my favorite month of all. Is get do your hair and makeup trials. What you need to do is go to a salon and get and send them photos of what hair you want to do. I gotta put the pictures in too in here. Sorry about that. I had to itch my nose. My hair, I wanted it up. Like up like this, but not all the way up, like a certain like this. <laughs> These actually were the same earrings too I wore. And the lady, she was so sweet, her name was Kathy. She spent three hours on my hair. <laughs> Cause how thick my hair was. But the thing is, my hair turned out so pretty when it was done. And also when you get your hair trials done, you have to make sure you know how much it's going to cost with the trials and how much it's going to cost when you get your hair done. Because the trials probably, I think for me, was 150 Don't quote me on that. 
and you get I got my makeup done at the same time for like 30 to 30 minutes to like an hour I'm sorry my nose is running I apologize but you have to like make sure you bring pictures they'll ask you what type of style you want and with the makeup they'll ask you what type of makeup you want then also select a groomsman attire that was fun for us you had to make sure like do you want like a black suit a brown suit a gray suit a white suit for the groom my man wore a brown uh brown no he did not he wore a black <laughs> with the white un underneath if you want a cummerbund and you need to make sure if you want what color um hacky hack hack hanky do you want and um color shoes what color we did match if you want to match with the girls or not i don't think they did they wore their maroon and we all wore our beautiful lilac dresses and i wore my ivory and also confirm all the venues make sure all your windows venues are done make sure that is all done my favorite part i think was when we went to the venue with our venue we had the food the cake we had that all picked out she also had the beer the wine we picked out from Manati's just to go there for anywhere they actually delivered all that beer and wine all to to our venue so we picked out the cake there they actually made the cake there they picked all the food they made all the food there so we selected all the food we had vegetarian options you had to make sure if there's any vegetarian people there make sure you have vegetarian options because if you don't they're not gonna be happy and I almost forgot about that because two of my girls are vegetarians within two months make sure you mail your invitations here is one point big thing that I did wrong that I'm making sure that I do if I ever do get married again to my husband which I don't know I might who knows I don't know I might renew my vows mail invitations but don't forget to send, put in an RSVP because I forgot to do that <laughs> my bad but the person that did my invitate our invitations he did such a beautiful job and I'm gonna put his name down below as well. He did so beautiful with her invitations. He did like a flower background and it looks so sophisticated. Actually, it's right over here. Just walk with me, sorry. It was so beautiful what he did with our invitations. That's like our invitation, what it looked like. So if you guys want like anybody to know, if you want anybody, to have like an invitation like that he will do anything like a background like that that was like my favorite background he was like okay do you want flowers do you want this do you want that that was my favorite oh my god i fell in love he's like how many do you need i'll send you 200 to 300 i'll send it by this day he quoted me and i got him the next day so that was the best thing make sure you plan your ceremony that ceremony gotta be planned out if you want vows or not we actually did not do vows. As you know, my husband does not like to speak in front of people. <laughs> sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Hey, he's a shy person. I'll, I'll accept that as a person. I chose him and he chose me and we chose each other. I do like it, but I think because the day before, I think we said our vows to each other so we can be kind of sacred. So make sure you purchase day of accessories. We had... I had a set, I think I bought, um, I'm trying to remember what I got. Oh yeah, we got the um, bride, I got robes, I got the garter. I don't remember what else I got, garter, and I think I got a couple of other like, extra little things for my girls. And um, make sure you confirm the limo. The limo place that we have actually was is not in service anymore, which sucks. It was a great person, he, it was amazing. The only problem with like with our day, make sure you pick a day. I know it's so hard within a year in advance to pick a day that it doesn't rain. But rain also means good luck. So like, cause when after we got married out of the church, we cannot take pictures because everywhere we went, it rained. <laughs> so it kind of lessened like the mood, so it kind of like sucked a little. But hey, it happens. It happens. You know what I mean. Uh, make sure you arrange the, the guest transportation because once you go from the um, church to the venue, you have to make sure like, hey, okay, this is the time you can park your car here. Make sure you do that because 
uh, when they get a drive home. Like you can, there's obviously Uber and Lyft, which is a great thing they have that. But definitely make sure that you have that because if you don't, that's gonna not be good at all. One month, <laughs> yay! You're getting close to getting married. Renew, re like review the music list because with Patrick Mahomes, he oh he's such an amazing guy. I love him to death. Sorry, he's just amazing. Make sure, like, with the music list, like, make sure it's, like, good for all types of people. You don't want to have, like, swearing and all this stuff, like, elderly people will be there and stuff like that. And start the seating chart. OMG. That was the worst thing I've ever done. I think I did a little bit more than he did a little bit, but I wanted to do my side first, just to make sure my family felt comfortable, and then he did his, and then we kind of came together. That's what I would recommend. And I totally forgot about this one thing. We had, with our venue with a photographer, we actually had two photographers. I wish we had a videographer, but we didn't have enough money in the budget to do that. But with two of them, we got so many pictures. We had over 2,000 photos, maybe a little bit less. But we have the one guy, he still does photos for weddings. If anyone wants to know, like you saw the photo behind me, and there's another one, I'm gonna show really fast. If you see the photo right there, that is one of the another photos that we took. He, he took at our wedding. That was one of my also, oh God, I look horrible, sorry. That's another photo he took of us and uh, Craig Foley. You're amazing. You rock, dude. Um, six weeks. Yay. Getting married soon. Make sure you apply for a wedding license. Oh, lordy. That's like the biggest thing. If you don't apply for a wedding license, you're basically not married by the state. And the city. Same thing. I think it cost ooh, 40 to $60, maybe. It was not bad. It's so easy. Just go to your city hall. Say, hey, I'm getting married. Fill out a piece of paper. Get your license. It's super easy. One week. So basically you have to finalize your head, head count and um, the seating. Make sure everyone's approved, uh, coming. If not, send. I think I sent them some people like say thank you for coming to the wedding like afterwards and say if not, no worries. We'll see you again, catch up. And welcome bags. So with that we had when we obviously, I'm going back a little bit, when we got out of the church, we got bubbles. Some people do bubbles, some people do rice, releasing of the birds, we did bubbles. And with our, well, we didn't really do welcome bags, we did coasters. It's our initial and when we got married. Many people do other things, do what you want. Two days. Make sure you like wrap the gifts. We didn't really wrap them. We put them on the table. We just wrapped, put them on the table, and the tables look so beautiful. We had like them draped over with the maroon and the light purple. We had candles in the middle, and then the coasters went all along the side. Day before is rehearsal dinner. Make sure you always, always invite every person in your wedding party plus their significant other. Your the father of the bride and the mother of the bride. The the I lost my train of thought. Oh my god. Lordy, sorry. Me, the bride and the groom. The father of the bride and the mother of the bride. That's what I was trying to say. And anyone else you want there. I think we had like 20 people. And we went to Ruby Tuesday, which was really good. And um, your wedding day, my wedding day was crazy. <laughs> Let me see, I'll tell you that right now. We uh, did the, actually the day before, let me go back, sorry, the day before we actually exchanged our wedding gifts that we gave each other. I think, <laughs> hopefully this is what he gave me, I don't remember. I think he gave me this, I'm probably so wrong. He gave me uh, this or a wedding Brett necklace. I, he's gonna be like, this is so not right. It's one of the two. <laughs> I just know he's gonna be like, why did I give you that? The earrings I got myself for all my girls as well. And I got them necklaces. No, not necklaces. Um, I actually got him cummerbunds. 
and it had his initials on it. He only wore them once, <laughs> actually twice, because he'd been in two weddings, him and his best friends. So I thought that was a cute way, and I actually gave him a poem book, and I made like a little note inside, and I thought, because this needs to remind me of you, so I thought that was like a little cute little touch so you can remember Brady right before he walked out of the uh, to the aisle. Not to the aisle, to the, to the pew. Aisle, pew, same thing. But with the wedding day, some people do give their, like before you walk out, give their gifts. We didn't want to do that. But people do that. When we, my wedding day was crazy. I, I don't want to say my. I think I was more stressed out than he was. For my, for my part of the day, I had to get up at 8 o'clock. I had to make sure, me and my mom had to make sure the whole car was packed. I was at the salon at 8. I had my hair done at like 10.30. And again, my makeup done by 12.31. We had to get to the church by 2.30. So we had to eat lunch fast, get to the church by 2.30. Wait, 2.30? Well, either 1.30, no, 1.30 or 2. I think it started at 2 and I wasn't even dressed yet. We couldn't even get inside because the doors were locked. So then I had to get prepared, I had to get dressed, and then they did the father. This is the one I really suggest everyone doing. I know this is gonna be a little bit long, but I'm almost done. I do apologize. Thank you for sticking with me. If a photographer should just like taking a photo, if you don't want to, I don't think they'll hurt your, they won't hurt you, you won't hurt their feelings. But this is the one I really liked. Is basically my dad was outside, just looking outside there. He was taking, he was just taking photos, and he didn't understand why. It's because we, it was me and him doing our first look at each other, and he cried so much. Then after that, everyone was standing out, like standing up, and then I walked down the aisle. That was my favorite part of the whole day because it made me realize how lucky I am to be. I get emotional because he's my father and I, I, I'm the only daughter. It just makes me feel glad and really, really blessed to have such a great father in my life. And when I walked down the aisle with him, it made me feel like this is, I'm really blessed. And then when I want to see my husband, future husband down the aisle, it made me feel like, okay, I made the right decision to seeing him standing down the aisle. And seeing him tear up at the end, it made me feel like I'm happy I said yes. So if you guys want any of these links of like, which I said about any of the photo, like the photographer, the DJ, the venue, I, I can put all the links down below for you guys. I hope this was very helpful and I am so happy it is wedding season soon. So again, like I said, let me know. And again, thank you so much for being patient with me and George. George gets, sends all his love to you guys. And again, thank you so much. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And again, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Much love from George and Ashley.